line segments, rays, and lines. Remember that points represent a location in space and can have names. If we look at the following image, we have an island represented by point B and a boat anchored at the port and located at point A. If the boat starts sailing in a straight path towards the island, and we want to draw this path on the image, we can do that by filling as many points as we can between A and B. We call this resulting shape a line segment. It is a straight path between two points in space. Another way to draw this line segment is by using a ruler and a pencil to connect between these two points. Here we have a line segment that connects between the two points A and B. If we have another two points, C and D, and we connect between them, we will have another line segment. To distinguish between the two line segments, we give them names based on their endpoints. So we can call the first one AB. This is read as line segment AB. Or we can call it BA. The bar over the letters indicates it is a line segment. And the second line segment can be called line segment CD. And we can also call it line segment DC. Let's go back to our image. What if there was a lighthouse on the port? Obviously, the light from this lighthouse will move in a straight path passing through point B. Can we tell where this light stops? As you know, the light will keep on going. So, to represent this, and as we did for line segments, we can use our ruler and a pencil to connect between end point A and passing through B, but not stopping there. And at some point after, we put an arrow to indicate that the light keeps going. We call this a ray, and we name it Ray AB. The arrow over the two letters indicates it is a ray, and the arrow's direction indicates that A is the end point where the ray starts. Let's take another look at our image. If we want to represent the horizon in this image, how can we do that? As you know, the horizon doesn't have a beginning or an end. It keeps going in both directions. So to draw it, let's first imagine that we have two points, C and D, located on the horizon. If we connect between them, we get a line segment. But the horizon keeps going in both directions. So we draw an arrow before point C and another arrow after point D to show that this straight path doesn't end. We call this resulting shape a line. It's similar to line segment in that a line is a straight path of points, but it doesn't stop on both ends and keeps going. We call it line CD. And we can also call it line DC. The two arrowheads indicate that this is a line, which passes through C and D, but goes on forever in both directions. To summarize, a line is a straight path of points that goes on forever and can be named based on any two points it goes through. 
while a ray is part of a line where it starts at one end point in one direction and goes on forever in the other direction and can be named based on the starting point and any other point it goes through. A line segment is part of a line between two points. It has two end points and can be named based on these two points. In this lesson, you learned how to draw and identify line segments, rays, and lines.